Transfer stations in Guam. They are located in Dededo, Aga, and Malolo. That's about to change, though, as federal receiver Gershman, Brinker, and Bratton plans to make it four. GBB operations manager Chase Anderson. This is the Harmon Residential Transfer Station. Uh, there's going to have some uh, new uh, activities there than the other ones uh, currently do not have. Uh, one is there's the building over there that would be that for the household has this waste. Uh, as uh, provided by the consent decree between the government of Guam and U.S. EPA, uh, we are to have a way of diverting household hazardous waste. Anticipated to be completed in 2014, the Harmon Transfer Station will be larger than the Dedito Transfer Station, with a trash truck wash, household material waste building, and a pay station. Operational hours will be the same as the other stations, with an individual on site trained to accept household waste materials, load and dispose of the waste in an environmentally safe way, or recycle when possible. Examples of household hazardous materials include insecticides, antifreeze, oil, and paints. And speaking of recycling, GBB plans to make it easier by expanding its current pilot program, which started in 2011, with 1,000 customers to all residential users. Pending approval by the district court, GBB through the Guam Solid Waste Authority will roll out curbside recycling to all 15,500 residential customers on regular routes. GBB is looking to start the program within the next 90 days. Each of these customers will be given a 96-gallon recycle bin at no additional cost. For more information on how you can participate in the curbside recycling program, call 646-3111.